the Republic of Korea, widely known as South Korea, has embarked on an ambitious journey to develop its indigenous advanced fighter jet, the KF-21 Boromai. This program signifies a new era for South Korean aerospace, marking a transition from a technology recipient to a global defense innovator. The KF-21 is not merely an aircraft, but a symbol of South Korea's growing technological prowess and its commitment to securing its defense future amidst rising regional tensions. The KF-21 project underscores South Korea's determination to navigate the complexities of the Indo-Pacific security landscape. With the KF-21, South Korea aims to reduce its reliance on foreign suppliers and establish itself as a critical player in the global defense industry. The development and deployment of the KF-21 are poised to have a significant impact on the regional balance of power and shape the future of air combat in the Indo-Pacific. The KF-21 program is a testament to South Korea's long-term vision for its defense industry. It represents a strategic investment in cutting-edge technologies and a commitment to fostering homegrown expertise in aerospace engineering. The program's success will not only bolster South Korea's defense capabilities, but also elevate its status as a global leader in defense innovation. The rollout of the KF-21, therefore, marks a pivotal moment in South Korea's journey to self-reliance and its ambition to shape the future of aerospace technology. South Korea's path to developing the KF-21 has been marked by a determined pursuit of self-reliance in defense technology. For decades, South Korea depended heavily on foreign partners, primarily the United States, for advanced military equipment, including fighter jets. This reliance, while necessary for its immediate security needs, came with limitations on technology transfer, operational flexibility, and industrial development. Recognizing the need for greater autonomy, South Korea embarked on a journey to cultivate its indigenous aerospace capabilities. Early programs focused on license production and technology acquisition, gradually building a foundation of knowledge and expertise. The development of the T-50 Golden Eagle supersonic trainer jet, a joint venture with Lockheed Martin, marked a significant milestone in this journey, demonstrating South Korea's growing competence in aerospace engineering. The KF-21 program represents the culmination of this long-term effort. It signifies South Korea's transition from a technology importer to a producer of cutting-edge aerospace systems. The program has not only resulted in the development of an advanced fighter jet, but has also fostered a robust domestic aerospace industry, creating jobs, attracting investments, and nurturing a new generation of skilled engineers and technicians. This transformation has profound implications for South Korea's defense posture. By reducing its reliance on foreign suppliers, South Korea gains greater control over its defense procurement, operational planning, and technological development. The KF-21 Boramai is not merely an upgrade over existing platforms, but represents a significant leap in aerospace technology, incorporating state-of-the-art features that place it at the forefront of 4.5 generation fighter jets. Its design philosophy centers around a low observable configuration, commonly referred to as stealth, enabling it to penetrate heavily defended airspace with reduced detectability. This stealth capability is achieved through a combination of advanced materials, radar absorbent coatings and internal weapons bays, minimizing its radar cross-section. At the heart of the KF-21 lies its advanced avionics suite, encompassing an active electronically scanned array radar, providing exceptional situational awareness and target engagement capabilities. The AESA radar allows the KF-21 to track multiple targets simultaneously, even in heavily jammed environments, giving it a decisive edge in air-to-air -air combat. The KF-21 is equipped with an integrated electronic warfare suite, providing comprehensive self-protection against enemy radar and missile threats. The KF-21 boasts a high thrust-to-weight ratio, enabling it to achieve supersonic speeds and exceptional maneuverability. This agility is crucial in modern air combat, allowing the KF-21 to outmaneuver adversaries and gain a tactical advantage. The KF-21 is designed to carry a diverse payload of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weaponry, making it a versatile platform capable of addressing a wide range of operational requirements. The KF-21's advanced capabilities are a testament to South Korea's technological prowess and its determination to field a world-class fighter jet. Its combination of stealth, advanced avionics and weaponry make it a formidable force multiplier in the region. 
enhancing South Korea's ability to deter aggression and defend its interests. The KF-21 program is not solely a testament to South Korea's indigenous capabilities, but also highlights the importance of international collaboration in the development and production of advanced defense technologies. Recognizing the complexities and costs associated with such endeavors, South Korea has actively sought partnerships with like-minded countries, fostering closer defense ties and expanding the potential market for the KF-21. Indonesia, a key partner in the region, joined the KF-21 program as a risk-sharing partner, contributing both financially and technically to the project. This collaboration has not only strengthened bilateral relations between South Korea and Indonesia, but has also provided Indonesia with valuable experience in advanced aerospace development, contributing to its own defense industrial base. Beyond Indonesia, South Korea is actively exploring export opportunities for the KF-21, targeting countries seeking to modernize their air forces with a cost-effective yet highly capable platform. The KF-21's competitive pricing, combined with its advanced features, makes it an attractive option for nations seeking to enhance their defense posture without breaking the bank. The KF-21 program serves as a model for international collaboration in the defense industry, demonstrating the benefits of pooling resources, sharing expertise, and fostering closer partnerships to achieve common goals. As the KF-21 program progresses, it is poised to further strengthen defense ties between South Korea and its partners, contributing to regional stability and security.